Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a brand new tutorial for DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to be talking about DaVinci Resolve's most underrated tool and that is Magic Masks. Uh, I'm going to be talking about it and show you some examples in what kind of situations you can use this tool. But unfortunately, this tool is only available in the paid version. Uh, I mean, in the studio version. Maybe you want to check on that. With this tool, you can literally do anything you want. You can put text behind your objects. You can color grade different parts of your image. Also, you have even more options to create more complex compositions. Anyway, but before we begin, I want to stop for a minute and I want to say thank you for all of the great comments. I have received many more views and comments than I expected in such a short time. So I really appreciate your interest in my videos, in my work, and thank you so much. This is motivating me to create many more videos like this one. And also, if you like this video, don't go without leaving a comment. Okay, let's begin. Now I'm on my edit page. I have imported my example footage and put them on my timeline. I'm going to use this clip for the tutorial. Just import your clip, make sure they're properly trimmed and positioned on the timeline and then switch back to the color page by clicking on this color page icon. And now let's take a look at how we can use this tool. Click on the magic mask icon. It's right in the middle in this toolbar. Click on the magic mask icon. You will see this panel show up. It's divided into three areas. The toolbar section, the stroke list and the mask finesse panel. Now let's start by find a place to mask our subject. This is okay. So to start masking our subject, we are going to click on this qualifier tool with a plus sign. If you don't see your dropper icon in this area, click on this drop down menu and click on this qualifier. If it's off, you won't be able to see that and then you won't be able to create a mask. Now we can create our mask. Use your mouse or your tablet pen to just simply draw lines over your subject. And that's actually this simple, but nothing really happened. That's because you're gonna have to click on this toggle mask overlay to see your mask area in red. Yeah, like this. These areas are the one that are being masked and you will just simply create lines over your subject. To subtract from this mask, click Alt on Windows and Command on Mac you can subtract from the mask. To apply a magic mask to a person, you simply just add these strokes. Now you might think that it would be beneficial to apply a really long stroke. Da Vinci will recognize more of the person, right? Well, actually that's not the case. Very long paint strokes like this aren't usually that useful and can be counterproductive later on when you're trying to track strokes to follow motion in the clip. For example, if their arm is moving in the shot, that would end in a really bad result. You can make as many strokes as you like i found out fewer strokes actually works better with this effect so just draw lines around your subject okay one thing that i want to mention you have two quality options one is faster and one is better if you look closely to our subject on this faster quality this mask edge is like really strong so you can actually make this mask better but this will depend on your computer's processing power and your graphics card so keep that in mind if you click on better and wait for a second yeah, we will see our mask got really, really better and soft around our subject. Okay, now we are ready to track our subject. But before we track, there is also one more option in this section. You can choose between object mask or person mask uh, in this magic mask panel. If you click on person mask, you can choose features like arms, clothing, face, hair, like different parts of body to mask and track. But actually, I think object mask is more than enough for any situation. You can just stick with this one and you'll get really great results. So now we can track our mask. 
You can use the arrow tracking buttons in this magic mask panel. You can track forward, backwards or in both ways depending on your clip's position. So let's just click on track both ways and we'll wait for our track to finish. Our tracking is completed. Now you can do literally everything with this mask. Uh, let's just click this toggle mask overlay and see clearly what we are going to do. Now you can color grade in this area like this. You can boost the contrast. You can create effects like this. You can play around with its brightness, contrast or other properties of this mask subject or the background. So you have an option to invert this mask. It's located right next to toggle mask overlay. If you click on this one, now your mask actually inverted and you can separate the background from your subject. So now like you can create a look like this make your footage pop of course if you don't like the harshness of the masked area you can go to this finesse panel you can change this blur radius and consistency it will make it much more smoother also your effects will stay throughout the entire clip uh, you can also add different kind of effects if you want let's put a halation maybe on her bring out more color maybe more saturation less temperature i don't know everything is up to you at this point there is one more cool thing that you can do you can just isolate the subject from your background to remove your background and leave only the subject right click in this node area and click on add alpha output and then you want to connect these two dots here and now you have a isolated subject like this is unbelievable it's like you don't need a green screen anymore you can just composite this with a new background in the edit page go back to edit page and put this clip onto another clip like this yeah this will this so you can also color grade separately to two different subjects in one shot for example let's track this guy yep and then we're going to create another node and we are gonna track her and now you can do your color grading separately on the same clip In the beginning of the tutorial, I told you that trim your clips and position them and then go back to color page. I said that because if you make any changes after you track your footage and if you go back to edit page and change something here, you are going to lose that tracking data. Actually, you are not going to lose the tracking data. It will stay there, but you will lose the preview. Of that data it will show up in the render but you won't be able to see it here there's actually a third way you can use fusion magic mask uh, it will take much more time than this uh, but all of your tracking preview data or everything will stay the same you could change everything in here and you won't lose anything <laughs> So that's the tutorial. I hope this will help you a lot in your work, in your own videos. Uh, you can create memes, you can create interesting compositions, make crazy effects on your videos. Make sure you try it on yourself. And if you try, tell me in the comments. Thank you for watching. Until the next video, take care.